Did you know that each day more than one quarter of the carbon dioxide emitted by human activity is absorbed by the oceans? Without them, the effects of climate change would be far greater. But the oceans have just about had enough, so to speak. The amount they have absorbed is now causing a drop in the water's pH. If you remember what you learned in science, then you will know that this means that the acidity is increasing. By the year 2100, scientists predict that the pH will have fallen by 0.4 units compared with its mid-19th century level. That corresponds to a threefold increase in the water's acidity. The risk, then, is that it will be more difficult for marine plants and animals to produce their skeletons and shells. Can you imagine what a mussel without its shell would look like? Added to that, the water in the oceans is getting warmer and not just at the surface, but deep down as well. This could cause certain species to migrate, reduce the quantity of oxygen in the water, and seriously damage the health of coral reefs. This would endanger the habitat of thousands of fish species. Moreover, you know that with climate change, the polar ice and glaciers are melting, which means global sea level is rising. There is a risk of causing dangerous changes to our coastal landscapes, especially in low-lying areas. If we combine acidification with warmer oceans and sea level rise, then the whole marine ecosystem is under threat. Imagine what would happen if plankton and calcareous organisms were to disappear. Their predators might migrate, change prey, massively destroy other species, or even disappear. And as you know, we humans are at the end of the chain. All these changes risk having a serious impact on our economies, our food, and our health. We are therefore all concerned. Our future and that of our oceans are intimately linked. That is what is at stake in the major climate conferences. All efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions are crucial. All of them, whatever they are.